my dad was a, he was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. So when I was younger, I used to like always see his, uh, the dress blue cover in his closet. I used to always wonder what that was. And like, I used to wear it all the time. Like, you know, I think it was the coolest thing ever. He is very charismatic. He is, most rooms he walks in, he is the center of attention. Everybody knows, hey, that's Will. And even in high school, he's a very popular kid. And I don't know what, people are drawn to him. Um, he has that natural ability to be a leader, but I'm hoping the Marine Corps will teach him the skills he needs to be a leader. He, he definitely became a huge role, for, role model for me, just looking up to him, because like, he put his life on the line, you know, joined the military, and like, gave up everything that he had from the hometown, and just, I don't know, he's just a huge inspiration in my life. I want him to find direction in his life whether it be in college or the military. I think once he said, you know what, I'm, a, I'm going. And then he was full force once he did that. I also joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to do what my dad did. I, I wanted to be like the person he, he was. Like, I, I, just, I wanted to be exactly like him because he was my hero. And you always want to be like your heroes or your role models. So, and I, I officially like knew, I was like, I made it. Like I finally, I'm a Marine, just like how my dad was. Like I'm, I did exactly what he did. And then I got called over by the chief warrant officer and then I thought I was in trouble. So I was like, I was like, I was like, what's going on now? I was like, what did I do? So he called me over there, he told me to stand in attention. And then like, I heard from footsteps coming from behind me. And it was one of the moments when you walk around and uh, you see him standing in attention. Like, he was just rigid. And um, I had to catch myself when I walked around to him because he started, he started tearing up. Um, and just seeing my dad and like tearing up, like just hand me his EGA and saying like, like this was mine, I earned it and now you've earned yours and I want you to have mine. So I had to pause and, um, and I told him, I said, um, I said, whew, kiss my breath. I said, um, we now have a bond that can never be broken. And, and I gave him mine. 